What's up, YouTube? First off, I want to say what's up and thank all my subscribers for taking your time out to check out my videos. You know, and anybody else who's just stopping by, you know, I appreciate you also. But, um, you know, there's a lot of videos on here about how, you know, how people use this Metroplex and focus and everything. You know, I guess there's a good way and there's a bad way, but I don't know which one it is, but I know the way I do it. You know, I had this sunken belly issue <clears throat> a couple months ago. Well, within the last two months, I believe, once I moved and, you know, did a video on that. You know, you know the story, but, you know, I found a way to do it. And, you know, at the time I was losing a fish about every, every week. And since I started doing it this way, I haven't lost a fish. So, you know, well... Let me just show you how to do it, blah, 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 blah. But, um, I said I was going to do this for, uh, I believe it's Newsweek. Uh, cool, bro, new guy to the, to the channel, to the hobby, you know. But, uh, basically all I do is, you know, Metroplex. And I'll do about two scoops. Well, I'll do two scoops. Even them out. Two scoops. Pretty simple. You know, I know on here it says something about five to one. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know. If you buy it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Five to one ratio or whatever, but I don't have time to figure out that. Everybody I ask don't have an answer to it, so I just pretty much use three scoops. A focus to the two scoops of Metroplex. I have my garlic guard. Don't ask me why it's upside down. Well, I'll tell you why it's upside down. When I ordered it from Amazon, it came to me with a big old crack on the bottom. I think you can see it right there. Yeah clean my finger now but uh right there got a crack so since i've been using it i've just been tipping it get maybe two or three drops of that and i use you know i've used a lot of different foods for this in this past two months but I found some of the cheap stuff works the best in absorbing all of these chemicals. Well, all this medicine. You know, some people use the the um, the brine shrimp. You know, and they use the focus to try and help keep the food on there. But I found just using just little cheap old floating cichlid pellets seem to work the best for me. I don't know if it's the floating. That might be the difference with it because I've had the sink and I've had all that, but the floating ones seem to absorb a little bit better. Well, a little faster, I'd say. But, um, you know, I just add usually what I'm doing this for two, two tanks, so you know, that's why it might seem like a lot. But that's basically all I do is that. And from there, I'll add just enough water. For everybody to get the swimming. That's all. Then give it a good little stir. To get everybody marinating together. All that good stuff. And since I'm doing this for my grow out tank also. I'll add some of these smaller pellets in here also, just for them. No. It'll even get eaten up by the big fish, but you know, that's pretty much it. Give this a good stir. And you can see it's starting to absorb already. 
a lot of the other ones you'll be sitting in here and you can almost cook a roast before all that water is absorbed all that medicine absorbed into the food but you know I'm not too com savvy with these videos so I'm gonna just press pause and I'll be back I wouldn't even say 10 20 minutes it's about not it's 957 now see how this is still swimming just keep swimming just keep swimming and I'll be right back all right folks I'm back it's 10 4 and I think I'm about finished <clears throat> I'm trying to go to sleep but you know this is pretty much it and all of my water well, meds have pretty much absorbed into this food. Nothing's left in this bowl. Everything in this bowl is going to go in my tank. I didn't drop no water. I didn't spill nothing. I didn't take any out. It's all in here. Then what I'll do after that is, because you know you might have some in your tank that aren't eating as much, or you don't notice they might not take these big pellets. They may just take a little nibble. So then I'll give some of it a little smash. You know, I got a, I got a few, um, got what those little uh, fish are, but you know, they, they eat at the bottom of the tank. So I got to get some that'll make it down to them before all my cichlids eat them up. But that's pretty much it. It's off to the races. And that's it, y'all. Pretty simple. All dry. Started out with a little water. Now, everything is going into them. Later.